Hello and welcome back to Hyper Rogue Orb Strategy Mode. Uh, today we are kind of... I, I don't actually remember what we're doing. So let's take a walk around and think about uh, what it is that we need to accomplish. Ah, I remember now. Zeno pointed out to me that uh, for high numbers of treasures, the Orb of Thorns is actually a lot more important than I kind of realized because it lasts longer than Flash or Teleport. And so I think that what we want to do is we want to find our way to the Dry Forest and see if we can get that as one of our 50 lands. And so we're just going to be looking out for that and apparently a lot of like fire bearing stuff is going to be chasing after us but we're just going to be basically wandering until either we see it or I get bored of looking and decide to find something else now how are we on shards I didn't actually check and I don't remember what they look like or where they are in our list or if we've even gotten any thought we had maybe that was a different run that I was on I'm I'm getting a little bit confused um, just between the different uh, the different versions that I'm playing now of oh what have I done what have I not done and uh, that's actually something that happened a lot when I was doing commentated speedruns as well was I would often f forget what it was that I had said uh, in the current run or in a previous run when I was trying to put together a video. That happened a lot uh, also when I was um, kind of starting out with this series and I would have to do a lot of attempts at recording it because I wasn't able to consistently keep a run going long enough uh, to say everything that I wanted to say. I think I perhaps had a little bit more that I wanted to say back then. I don't know. It kind of, it, it comes and goes how much I actually have uh, to say, how much I think is worth saying. And here I am getting distracted uh, because we do need three more treasures from the Hall of Mirrors. Now, they're going to be hard to get because the Hall of Mirrors is really based on the idea that you will have treasures, and we don't. Um, they, they don't spawn near the borders, but the treasures are really, really important. And so, uh, this is something that I kick myself for almost every single time we use a Panic Orb. We're going to use an Orb of Life. And we're going to have a little buddy following us around and uh, protecting us, helping us uh, fight off these swarms of narcissists. And that did not last very long. If we could just even just get to one of these, we would be able to... Uh, take care of the um, the spawning problem with the um, the mirror spirits because uh, in in the instructions it it does say let's see um, okay it doesn't say that on the land instructions but if we go by here if we right click a mirror spirit if you attack a mirror spirit physically it is delayed but not destroyed more reflections will come out of the mirror use mimics to destroy them yeah so that's that's why we need mimics and that's why I was hoping that an orb of life would be uh, more helpful than it ended up being and I may have played that a little bit badly I'm still playing a little bit fast uh, a little bit like I was doing a speed run which isn't great it's uh, something I should not be doing especially this late into a strategy run. Now the prospect, we passed the uh, the reptiles right there. The prospect of getting 50 uh, treasures in some of these lands is really daunting and 50 dodecahedra is one of the 
I would say one of the most daunting just because it's so slow to get any treasures. And hey, look what we found here. And I almost walked right past it because I forgot what we were looking for. You need to go off screen, buddy. I wonder if you can knock these guys into fires. Yes, you can. Okay. So that's how we will uh, deal with these guys. Apparently this one is a little too clever for that. Okay, so I'm getting I'm getting really distracted by these guys. They are kind of frustrating to fight cuz you can't hurt them, but they they still move at the usual speed. This is bad. I am going to get an orb of air because we have lots of those and I am going to uh, see if we can push this fairy away and buy ourselves a little bit more room. And then we can kill this guy to create a choke point. And then, uh, let's see, this one will let us, this Vine Beast will let us create another choke point. Uh, but I'm a little bit worried about this Hedgehog Warrior. If we go here, we can kill the Vine Beast, and then the Hedgehog Warrior. And then we have this bird that we can deal with, and then we have the two reptiles coming up. We have this Hedgehog Warrior, and we have a Fire Fairy. And so that worked out relatively well. I still don't have a great situation for dealing with these guys. So there's one of them knocked into the fire. And that one is going to be blocked off by that ivy. So we should be able to get it off screen and not have to worry about that. But crosstalk is a really big problem in... Orb strategy mode. It's going to be a huge problem. Also, uh, another pr problem that I just noticed we're going to have to be really, really clever to be able to deal with it is we're going to have fire fairies coming up long before we have uh, treasures available. And so it's going to be a really difficult problem even just getting to treasures before fires start. Now, the Orb of Winter will be somewhat useful for that. But that's not going to be sufficient because treasures burn. So, the problems of, of crosstalk, and uh, treasures burning, and fire fairies appearing before treasures appear, and uh, it looks like things are, yeah, too crowded here to get in through this way very effectively. But once we've knocked those guys out, uh, we can start to widen this area out, and then probably what we need to do is just start you know, chopping out a really big area, and then as soon as fire fairies st start to appear, we back out and we start fighting them in the crossroads. And then we can come back in here and we can start clearing again, and the fire has spread to us somehow. Probably it was the fire that we were running away from before. So we can create choke points, there we go, and we're just going to trot along and try and get out of the way of that fire, get out of the way of that rock, or a uh, sandworm. And I'm still playing a little bit faster than I should be, a little bit faster than is wise. I should be taking it a lot slower, 
So now we have to start over uh, because that fire caught up with us. Hopefully it won't catch up with us again. But we're going to head in here and start chopping out a really big area. This will slow down the spread of any fires that do get started. And it will also give us a lot more room to maneuver, a lot more options. And uh, it will also give us a route back to the crossroads. We can follow the uh, swath of cut down trees. So here's another fire fairy. So that fire has already caught up with us. I'm not really sure how this is going down, but it seems like either the fire is updating or we're somehow... It's like either the fire's updating off screen or somehow other fires are getting started because it does keep catching up to us. And I, so there's some mechanic that I'm not understanding, but we can actually switch to a different dry forest and that will not be a problem. So now we can start chopping again. Making a nice wide area just like this. Just trying to cut as much stuff away. You know, we want to have this nice, big, wide alley leading us back to the crossroads. And you know, the way I'm talking right now is kind of reminding me that one of the uh, major kind of influences that I had when I was starting out this channel was Bob Ross, because I started out the channel and I knew that I didn't want to be funny because I didn't know how to be funny in a way that I thought would also be comforting. And I knew that I didn't want to be really salty and angry uh, the way a lot of the people that I saw on YouTube were. And so I was kind of working out, just trying to figure out what were the different ways that people were entertained and I knew about drama and I knew about humor and I was trying to figure out what was there besides drama and humor because neither of those seemed like it really fit my personality and so you know one of the first popular entertainers that I found that was neither dramatic nor uh, really humor driven was Bob Ross. And so I spent uh, quite a bit of time studying... Does Ivy burn? I can't remember if Ivy burns. It looks like it. Uh, fire does not jump to Ivy, so that's fine. And so I, I modeled a lot of my initial mannerisms off of Bob Ross and kind of a lot of how I structured my show. And that's, that's why, you know, at the beginning of the show still, it says the joy of gaming. I don't know if I should still have that. It's kind of, it feels a little bit not relevant. You know, I had, oh dear. Well, that's fallen apart. So now I'm looking, is there a way that we can get out of here without using an orb? And what I'm seeing is, if we hit this Fire Fairy, uh, this Hedgehog Warrior will come up and this Fire Fairy will come up. And uh, neither of them will be adjacent to us. But we've got these two coming from our upper right. And so I'm looking around here and I'm thinking that I want to look at our orbs, see what we have available. Do we have... Winter, we have no winter available. We have another orb of air. Do we have any air charges left? We do not. So we do have quite a bit. We have orb of ether, which is very powerful. And uh, I don't know that I want it to... I don't know that I want to use it in this situation because I want to look for some other way that we can deal with this. The Orb of Matter would be uh, fairly effective. You know, one of the things we talked about before is the Orb of Summoning. And the fact that I saw the Orb of Summoning in here somewhere 
means to me that uh, we did in fact go to the elemental planes in this... Yes, there we go. In this series... Let's see, Dragon Scale, Dove Feather, Sapling... Elemental Gem, there we go. So it just looks like an Ice Diamond. It might be a different color that I can't see. Um, but yeah, let's use the Orb of Summoning. We get lots of charges. So what this is going to do is... Uh, it's going to put some stunned creatures in the way of these creatures. And so that will prevent them from approaching us. Just long enough for us to get away. Alright, so that is the kind of thinking that we need to be doing, is how can we use things that we might not have been able to use in any other situation? So, I'm, I'm pretty proud of that. I am pretty pleased with that. Now, I think that getting uh, 50 Fern Flowers seems off the table at this point. It's just not within my abilities. It's just there's too much that it depends on. Uh, you know, if we could... Let's see, if we went to Kikaitis and got some Orbs of Winter, that would help. What else would really help us there? Unfortunately, Orb of Thorns would be very valuable. Orb of Ether, uh, if we go into the Vineyard, could actually help us out uh, more than a little bit. So, you know, those, those are the kinds of things that we can think about, you know, from a strategy point of view, is are there ways that we can make this more approachable? that we can make uh, ourselves more effective in the dry forest. And I'm thinking, you know, are there other things that will make us more effective in the Hall of Mirrors? Because we still do need those three more treasures. Now, the Orb of Space would actually be very valuable there. So maybe the Red Rock Valley is the next place to go. Uh, that's a very dangerous place to go, and I believe we already used our Orb of the Dragon. Yes. Uh, unlocked by Grimoires. We would need as many as 27 Grimoires. And that's kind of another thing that that ship has sailed. But there are other things that we can use... There are other ways of getting treasures from the Red Rock Valley. And so we can look at... Uh, the Orb of Matter actually would work just as well. And so let's kite this guy over this way. Get him to go past... Oh dear. Alright, so we've got a couple of them on us now. Which is not what I wanted. So let's pull up that Orb of Matter. And let's see, how much does this use? Quite a lot. In fact, it looks like we're only going to get two out of this, so I put that in the wrong place. Okay, so we will get three. Hmm. So we can actually make this guy unable to get to us. Unfortunately... Oh! We get one more! Oh, that's interesting. Let's see, uh, ranged orbs, let's see, create impassable mat uh, matter, either to block paths or build bridges, ranged orb. So it doesn't say how much it costs. Interesting. Because we keep getting them, so let's build a bridge to that one and to... Oh, okay. Okay. So that's actually given us... Oh, that's interesting. They collapsed. Why did they collapse? Wow, okay. So there's a lot going on here that I don't understand. 
But uh, we're up here. We're on the plateaus, which is what really matters. Uh, we do have the Orb of Ether available to us as a backup option. And we're at nine treasures, which unfortunately is just short of what we really want. Because I do want just one orb of space. And there we go. Perfect. Now let's see if we get lucky. Did not get lucky. Let's head out of here before we get into even more trouble. Now this should all be height 2, yes, so we can jump down. So now we have the Orb of Space. Uh, we should have the Orb of Space in our inventory somewhere. It's a little bit... Um, like I, It looks like the Orb of Empathy and the Orb of Mirror... Like I feel like they were down here just a moment ago. Ether space. There we go. Orb of space. So that will let us grab stuff from far away, and that will give us an inroad into the mirrored land to get the uh, the hall of mirrors. I keep I keep getting that wrong, and I'm going to keep getting that wrong because the hall of mirrors was the mirrored land for. That was so careless. That was so very careless. Let's see, we... did we get an Orb of Thorns? We did not get an Orb of Thorns. We don't have an Orb of Discord. Orb of Earth, Orb of Domination. Uh, so we didn't end up using the Orb of Ether where I expected to, so we could use that. Though the Orb of the Mirror, I feel like we could use it on the Orb of Ether, and that would be very valuable. We'd also like to get, let's see, we still need, ooh, we still need a lot of, or potentially need a lot of, uh, Fern Flowers to get that Orb of Thorns, so... Uh, we're not going to go for that, but I think that's what we want to use Mirror on, is either Aether or Thorns. So, we can teleport, uh, we can air, we can, uh, let's see, time won't do anything. Matter won't do anything. So, we can Aether through the wall. I think that's the best option, because it's a fairly specific orb that is uh, very situationally relevant and will stay relevant for us. Now, of course, I'm curious, can we walk through the mirror? We cannot walk through the mirror with Aether. I have been looking for some way of crossing the mirror, seeing, you know, what's hidden behind them, but... Never quite been able to do that. Never quite worked out. So now we're just going to wait until we're in a situation where uh, the orb of space is what we need. And then we will activate the orb of space. And boy do we have a lot of stuff coming at us. Oh, we are out of ether. Okay. That did not la last as long as I'd hoped, but I'm going to... let's see. Deal with some crosstalk and then plunge back in here. Try and generate a treasure. There we go. So let's get that orb of space. This orb is able to bring faraway items to your location, even if there are monsters or barriers in the way. The cost of bringing an item in charges equals the square of its distance to you. Contrary to some other orbs, usage is not allowed if you have not enough power left. This is a ranged orb. Shift-clicking in the desired location. 
Uh, never target cells which are adjacent to the player character or ones out of sight range. That's not out of sight range, but we can't grab it. That was a great idea, and I did not know one aspect of the mechanics that was pretty vital. So that's, that's a disappointment. And I don't think there's anywhere else that we can really cheekily grab treasures. We can, uh, we can peek in here, see if there's anything. Ah, uh, no, we're going to get uh, blocked in by this fire fairy. And uh, just flee like that. So that, that was a bust. And uh, there's an orb of safety here, so I'm going to drop into that and say, you know, we've had kind of an interesting run today. Had a, a really... We've done a lot. We did We did a lot. Um, I felt like I didn't accomplish as much as I wanted to. But it has been a really interesting adventure, and uh, I think it will continue to be an interesting adventure in the future. So what are we doing next? Um, we got to figure out kind of the strategy for how we're going to take on, uh, you know, how are we going to gear up for the uh, Dry Forest? Is Kakaitis going to be enough? But that's not going to work because we need 50 treasures in nine different types in order to get into Kakaitis. So how can we take on the Mirrored Land? How can we get those last three mirrors? We can use the Orb of Teleport. Uh, that's a very powerful orb that I'm kind of shy on using, uh, but um, that seems like the most promising avenue. Uh, the, the only other thing is we can just try to fight our way in there somehow. Just try to be really good at the tactics and then maybe have teleport as a backup. You know, go in there thinking, we're probably going to use teleport on this adventure. So, you know, if we make it out without using teleport, yay. Uh, but if we do end up using it, then we're not disappointed. We can also look at other orbs, uh, maybe uh, using the orb of life uh, again a little bit more aggressively. Having a couple of golems maybe going to the minefield and uh, getting the orb of friendship as well, though that is a little more dangerous, a little more powerful, a little more deadly. Because those leave mines behind when they die. But all that is coming up in the future. Until then, thank you very much for watching and have a great rest of your day.